that was a job put this toolbox in here and loaded everything in it <clears throat> first job i do it's going to be all messed up this 16 inch dewalt saw is perfect for out here when you're off grid um this uh six amp hour battery I've got a couple of them i'll tell you what man this thing does as good as my steel saw uh it keeps up with it believe it or not and it works good off here out here off grid because you don't have to uh put fuel in it you know uh you just charge it off your solar panels and okay we're gonna change the water filter here on the pump house it's got a uh, 30 micron filter in it and uh we're going to put it down to a one micron let's see how that does you see the clarity of that water? That's what's coming out of the kitchen sink. Look what the filter's catching uh, compared to that. That's with the 30 micron, so that's pretty nasty looking. Now, uh, we're not drinking this water, you know, without it being distilled. I mean, this is just water that's coming out in the tap. But anyways, I'm gonna put a one micron filter in here and uh, we'll see if uh, it even does better. So I've got this drain hose on here. We'll drain the water out. Okay, here's the uh, filters I ordered from Amazon. Uh, I got these little rings too, uh, because they always tend to leak there. And uh, so here's some brand new rings. That's when you go to screw it on. And then uh, here's these filters I got. I already opened them up, took a look at them. They look pretty good. This is the difference here. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's a one micron. So uh ho hopefully it's not too small and uh we, you know it gets really dirty really fast still going pressure's starting to get low though i don't think it does goodness gracious Whew, that sucker was tight oh yeah there's a bunch of stuff down at the bottom here it's kind of nasty at least I know that filter is doing its job. That's a good deal. Hopefully that other filter fits. Oh, goodness. That sucker is nasty looking. Looks like algae. Alright guys, we're going to have us a little bit of Memorial Day weekend dinner. Got the pecan wood there cooking. Uh, it's just going to be hot dogs. Uh, the wife wanted hot dogs. The chicken's not thawed out, so uh, we're good with some grilled hot dogs. It's always some good stuff when you grill a hot dog, especially when you overcook it just a little bit. See what happens here. Yikes. They are nice and crispy. Like she likes them. <clears throat> that is how she likes them. Ouch. Son, but looks good. Looking good, looking good. See there? Not too bad. This guy right here, eh, that's gonna be mine.
<laughs> Look at all that dirt coming out of it. Uh, by the way, guys, we're uh, sacrificing a a, uh, a a saw chain here to get some of these tree stumps that are down out of the ground here so the lawnmower quits hitting them and taking out a couple other trees uh, that are, uh, you know, small, insignificant. <clears throat> This will make it easier to mow in between the trees here. I think we've cut probably about seven or eight trees now. Me and the wife are gonna try to load up some shale rock. Go try to fill up some of these holes a little better. There's some pretty big holes in the road. And for now, we're just gonna try to fill them with a little bit of a uh, shell. Ow. You ready for some shoes? It's, uh, these shoes ain't gonna work doing this type of work. These you... shoes suck. Okay, here's a little bit of the shale rock that we got left out here. So we're gonna try to put some of it on this tarp here. And then uh, dump some of it down into some of the big old holes. Try to soften the blow when we come through every day. Oh, that's some good rock left. Good job. Sure. These aren't really the shoes for it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're going to be here a while. Yep. Maybe if you get another shovel. Yeah, but you didn't. You were like, she can do it. No, I said we could take turns. I brought other tools. <laughs> yeah, if we just had a tractor. Workout in it. No. We'll throw some of these big ones down on the bottom first. And just keep training for a tractor. <laughs> First hole we're gonna to try to fill. We can fill in this side right here, or we can try to fill in the whole thing. I, I figure we fill in the side here where the tires run for now, since we're doing this all by hand. Okay, let's lay some of the big ones down first. Um, I'd say right here where we're gonna drive, right where the tires are gonna drive. I don't know how long this is gonna last. First time it rains. I mean, that's a crow fighting over something. So there could be something dead back there. But, uh,
Watch for snakes. All right, we're heading back over here. Uh, we're heading back down the road here to fill in our uh, holes with the rocks we got here. See how much better this makes it. We'll put the big ones down for a base and then we'll come back in with the shell rock and one more load of shell rock and put it over it. And hopefully that'll get us through the next couple of rains until we can get a tractor. We got some visitors today. Stop, Dad. Oh, my God. My daughter, Shaylee. That's my son, Kabion. <laughs> That's my son, Kevin. Oh, we got some visitors out here today, I was telling them. Got to put him to work. Visitors or workers? <laughs> It's the Black Widow. Not happy. Not happy. <clears throat> so that's that's what we got to be careful about out here. Not that this guy will really hurt you, but uh, he could. Justin took possession of this bowl of water. I'm, I'm Look at the way sure, he's laying down. <laughs> uh, she said that there was cheese. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we don't have any cheese. That's little Kevin here. Do we have cheese, buddy? Yeah, oh, we have cheese. What you following me around for, huh? Could it be that? <laughs> oh, shooty cootie. Whoa. Well, dinner's done. Thanks for watching guys. I had a great Memorial Day weekend with my kids. Got a few things done around the property. We have so much to do this year and so many projects to accomplish. I'm looking forward to making great content for you guys. I hope you're learning some of the things that can help you out. I know it's even a learning process for me.